And there it's gone already. Look at the speed of that. Nice blue flame. That is gone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, this is going to be a bit of a different video this time. I've, um, I have recorded about two hours of videos back to back the other day. Uh, as you see, there's a lot of changes going on around here. When I went to edit them, I realised my microphone hadn't been working, so I had all the video but no audio. Um, so I've made a lot of changes to my bass and things, which were covered in the video. Um, which uh, I can't release a video for. Um, if I stand by here, you may be able to hear some creaking and groaning from my rocket. Like that. That is the pipes complaining. Um, I have switched back to a pressure fed gas engine on my rocket rather than the pumped gas engine. Uh, it's a bit better engine. And what I've done, or found out, is... Um, let me go up and show you. Let's just jump up and show you some bits. It's the easiest way. The idea with this engine is it's got two inputs. Uh, get rid of that. One input here, and one input over there. And you feed an oxidizer into one side, and a fuel on the other side. Mix them in the engine. Control the pressures of both to get your thrust out the engine. Well, I found you don't actually need to do that. What you can do is you can take a pre-mixed gas, uh, which is what I was providing before to the other engine, uh, which is in here. Uh, so it's 66% volatiles and 33% oxygen. Um, and then just feed that into both sides. You do need to pressurise it. And as you see here, I've got tears. This side is... Uh, let's just put that away for the moment so I can use the swap over and so this one here is uh, set to 25 megapascals and that's the input pressure and that's controlled via these pumps here and this analyzer so they're just pumped fuel in until this tank and this tank and associated pipe work all hit 25 megapascals they then feed out through a volume pump which is sat here uh, and that is set to um, stop when this small header tank and this pipe work hits 55 megapascals. And this is why the pipes are com complaining. It's actually 54 there. This is why the pipes are complaining. It doesn't like the pressure in there. It's not damaging them yet because it doesn't start damaging them until it hits 60. See, so there's no damage. Um, it's not saying they're damaged. It's not damage taking place. It's been like that for quite a while. Um, but it does start groaning, so when you buy the um, the rocket, you hear the groaning of the pipes, but it's not taking any damage. Um, that pump is controlled via this IC in our IC housing. It basically checks the pressure in this header tank, which includes obviously these pipe work, this pipe work. And if it's below 55 megapascals, it turns that pump on. Um, it's not on at the moment because I've been messing around in my um, control room just to set some things up. But that's what we've got now. And well, probably looking around 30 to 35 kilonewtons at liftoff. Kilonewtons of thrust at liftoff with this engine and an input pressure of about 55 megapascals. Um, I did get it up to 38 kilonewtons by taking this up to 38 S to 58 megapascals of pressure but I thought it was pushing my luck there I thought that is too close to burst pressure of 60 megapascals uh, 60 megapascals so I dropped it to 55 so anyway that's why you can hear my engines groaning or my rocket groaning away it's not doing any harm it just let me know them near the point where it will start doing damage so let's put these panels back on Okay. And because I'm a Brit, I repainted my rocket red, white and blue. Um, obviously I stuck some lights on the tower here just to try and illuminate the tower a bit. So when we're in our control room, we can actually see the rocket at night. So you can actually sort of see it's there now to see the umbilicals extended. Um, other things I've done, I've obviously um, panelled all this out and the flooring. Um, I've 
panelled all this up. I put grates wherever there is a fuel pipe, um, so it's easy access. So come down here. These are just changes I've been doing in the background. Um, oh, I was meant to go down that side. So I can see the grates continue down here. I put a wall in here. This is all going to get enclosed quite soon. Um, Green pipes. I need to get some grating under there. Actually, have I got any grating on me? I do. Let's just rotate that and pick the right one. I want that one, and I want the grating going that way, like so. And then I want to paint it red. Cause it's got fuel pipes underneath it, and it's dangerous. There we go. Um, the other thing I've done is I've enclosed my chutes, except for this little bit here. My chutes are now enclosed under these, uh, in the frames underneath these grates, and I completely boxed in those um, frames now, so they're enclosed um, like this. So it's all enclosed now from down there, all the way up here, all the way along, up, and all the way up to where the pumps are, basically over there. So all that's done. I put a little stairwell in here to walk across them because this is going to be my landing pad for my trader. Um, I'm probably going to put some windows in here at some point as well. Um, I have done a similar thing down here, put the gratings down just so you can see you know, like, see where the pipes are. Uh, there's all pipes under here, it's all red because it's a danger area. I started um, covering the ceiling and I ran out of panels so I need to finish off that at some point. Um, on our last trip, we got some um, space ice, which turned out to be 100% volatiles, which I put through this system here. So now I have uh, 15 kilomoles of pure volatiles. I need to pull this up so I can get that pumped into that tank there. And I think what I'll do is, because it depends what ice goes in here, I need to work out which uh, tank it needs to go into. So at the moment, that is just dealing with volatiles. Um, I had to go out and mine some oxide, and I still think I've got a load on me if I'm honest. Yeah, so I filled this and I filled my mining belt, and I dumped a load in to the chute system, so it would all come through to here. So I've got to find 92 kilopascals or 12.8 kilomoles of oxidizer in there, because um, I'd run out of oxidizer and I wasn't refilling my rocket anymore. As you can see again, all this has been panelled out, all this is done, all that's been panelled out in the flooring, the ceiling and everything. Uh, all this was done anyway. What else have I done? This was done. Um, no real changes in here. Except, why is Amy back? Okay. So, you obviously mined out where you were, so I get you to drop all that off. Um, so yeah, I did quite a bit of work actually offline. I know it doesn't look a lot, but there's been a lot of work going on, especially around the rocket. Oh, something else I've done. While I remember. Um, power has been an issue. I do keep running out of power. So I have increased the number of solar cells. I do need to increase it more. I've added another three or four, I think, at this point. Um, I've got space to add another... How many? One, two, three, four, five, six... Um, I've produced the alloys to make it, I just need to print them. Um, I've not done anything else, oh I have done something else in there. Just let me go in there and show you what I did. So one thing that was happening in here is with all these plants is I was getting a lot of oxygen. The plants absorb CO2 and kick out oxygen. Um, I wasn't really doing anything with that oxygen. I was just pretty much venting it when the room over pressured and then sucking in CO2 when the uh, CO2 levels got too low. So what I have done is I've set up a filter here for filtering out oxygen and that purely sucks air out of this room through this filter, pulls the oxygen out and dumps it into this tank. Not this tank here, it's, I think it's five and a half, yeah, sorry, seven and a half megapascals, at which point it stops or if the oxygen in this room falls below 50% or the pressure in this room falls below I think it's 70 kPa then it stops but when all those criteria are met that will just suck air in and refill my oxygen tank 
and it saves me having to dump oxide in here all the time. Hunger caution, so I need to get some food. Let's just quickly grab something to eat. Oh, not much of that left. None left now. Um, I think I've got enough flour in here to bake a new one. Yeah, 200 grams of flour I need, so let's just... Bread, that's what we want. Come on, ping, there we go. Eat that. And get a drink. Um, something else I've done just to make my life a bit easier is I've created a load more tablets and colour coded them. Um, I did have one tablet and I kept swapping the card around. Uh, I had to have the cards in my inventory anyway, so I've just replaced them with tablets now and the cards now sit in the in inside the tablets. So I've not lost any space, but I've just made my life a bit easier. So this one's like Atmosphere, um, that one's GPS, that's All Scanner, that's a Tracker, and that's a Configurator. So that just makes my life a bit easier. See if I don't swap things all the time. And the paints are just because I was uh, getting a bit paint happy. And running around and painting everything. Low pressure. Nope. Oh, close Oxygen down there. Critical. Pressure critical. Temperature critical. Oh, Amy's gone off to do some mining, has she? She, he, whatever. Where's she at? Okay, yeah, she's mining away. That's good. So, yeah, um back to our rocket so actually let me just see how many of these I've got made for what am I short of copper um, let's just add these solar panels to begin with so I get some more copper are you groaning again Something not quite right here. Is there anything in there? Not right. I'm just waiting. This slows down. It's been working fine, and then I altered the. Um, I wonder if it's because I've altered that number too high. Um, let's just get this in here. So don't be hands. I so. Import that helps. Um, I set this to a thousand, it was 500 and it worked fine at 500, so I'm going to set it back to 500. I was just trying to save a little bit of time at them um, stopping after 500 grams to dump it, but it's not happy. So let's just all this shut down properly and then I'll restart it. Um, I'm going to need more temperature in there, no pressure. You can go in there and you can start printing again.
Right, let's see what happens if we turn this on now. It's emptying, that, that's turned on, that should go up. That'll stress will go up initially. But then it should recover. Let's just keep watching for a moment, make sure it does what it's supposed to. I'll just cut this bit out probably. Just to ensure I've got enough fuel in the system. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And you have 2.7 megapascals. You've got 3.95, so there's plenty of fuel there. There you go, the stress is coming down now. I think they stay 10% and that heat zero stress. If I remember my coding correctly. And 250 or 270 RPM. That clicking is just because the way it's programmed, it turns off and it turns on, turns off and on. I could sort it out, but to be honest, it doesn't really bother me. I think it goes up again at 270 or 280 to 30%. 80. So that looks like it's working again. So it was that number set on there. It obviously didn't like the 1000 for some reason. Uh, I may be able to set something like 950. I don't know. Right, back to our rocket. So yeah, um, our rocket has got plenty of fuel. Um, I have been out and uh, mapped a few more locations. So I've mapped all that location. I've mapped all that location. Um, I've got some of these. Some of these I haven't done anything there yet. And I've been here or here. Um, so let's set a location of... Let's just get an orbit to begin with. Um, this thing literally jumps off the rocket. Off the launch pad. Um, Small tank pressure to an icy housing actually got 55. Yeah, and now if I do what I need to do is um, close the fuel line so stop refueling it and retract the umbilicals which have just been retracted. There we go. Now it's launch. And there it's gone already. Look at the speed of that nice blue flame. It is gone. It, it's that quick you can't even follow it. You know, it's, it's yeah, no, no damage or anything, it's fine. And it'll take maybe 20, 25 seconds to get into orbit now. There we go, so I've done it 15 seconds. I'll just wait to get to orbit, now we set it to a new destination. There we go, we're in orbit. So I want to go and mine some volatiles, some more volatiles, which are here. What is it to get to there? You know, what, let let's let's just um, go all the way out here. Fingers crossed, we don't lose our rocket. Waste tank caution. Uh, pressure back to fifty-five. Yeah, let's turn the rocket on. Oh no, only 75 um, seconds of fuel away. So it'll get there fairly quickly. Yeah, so um, as I was saying, I've, I have been building things out. I have been adding panels and stairwells and one thing or another. Um, I want to add some more panels down here. So I can enclose this area. Uh, this old um, corridor swell. I'll have a door here leading out onto uh, a landing pad here. So I think that's probably what the next thing I'm going to work on is a landing pad. Um, that would make sense. I need a landing pad and get some traders down. Um, once I've got the traders down, I can start getting things like chocolate. Are you going now? Yeah, you're going flat out. That's it. Let's see if I'm running. Um, Materials-wise, I've got a lot of stuff. So I've got, you know, 191 stacks of iron. 64 of copper, 11 of gold, so that's still 550 gold, um, 27 lead, 32 nickel, 6 cobalt. How did I paint that what yellow? Okay, I paint that yellow, I didn't realize it. Um, 39 silicon, 18 silver, 107 coal, which is good because I've been needing it to. Uh, um, Gets power. 
uh, 4 uranium, so that's 200 uranium. Um, 164 nitrice, 38 water, so I've got plenty of water. Volatiles are 30, but that's not increasing because nothing's going into there and nothing's going into the oxidite. So th those two, I'll just be running them down slowly as I refuel my rocket. Um, I know what I was doing. I was putting some more solar panels up. I do get sidetracked. Sorry, guys. So, solar panels, solar panels. Let's just get over this way a bit. Where are you? There you are. One there. One there. One there. One there. Uh, cabling. I've got plenty of cabling. Where I may have a problem is glass. I don't know if I've got enough glass on me. Spin round. Oh, I've got 30 glass on me. Um, I may not have enough power on my welder, that's what I meant. Um, nope, my welder's out of power. Um, you know what, for now I'm just going to rob a battery just to finish this off. So there's another two kilowatts of power being added, and I've got space for another one, two solar panels currently. How are we doing? Blue, blue, yellow. You are flashing, or you're drained. Mm, I have to keep an eye on that. What I want to do, I think, maybe is get a graph up to see how much fuel, I'm, how much power is being used against what I'm generating. Um, where'd I take that battery from? There. So you can go into there, you can go into there, you can go into there, just charge that back up quickly. How's my miner doing? I could do with charging. Have my suit battery, that's stick out on charge. Laptop, that's okay. Right. Oh no, it's a bloody storm coming. Come back, Amy. You're a long way out. Long, long way out. Are you going to get back in time? Oh yeah, it should. If not, I'll have to go and rescue him. Her, it, them. So yeah, these are uh, two deep mines, uh, deep miners, and that uh, centrifuge, um, combustion centrifuge, have been doing really well. It's getting me resources. Um, I've had to do very little mining, in fact. The only thing I've had to mine recently is uh, oxide. And that's because the deep mines can't do it. And uh, there's not been a lot near where Amy has been. What are you doing now? Where are you going? You're meant to be coming home, not going back out again. Right, now she come back and unload. So what's we got for us? Nitrites, volatiles, silica, volatiles, iron, volatiles, 
silicon and volatiles. Okay, so now she's going to unload so I can close the outside door. No, she's just going to shut off. That's all right. You can sit there with the materials in her. It'll not uh, evaporate or anything. It'll be fine. Right, solar panels. How many you've got left here? One. What do I run out of? That's the alloy. You know what? One will do for now. Now we'll put that down. I've um, got, yeah, got enough um, glass. Glass welder wire cutters cabling. Where's the nearest cabling? There I guess. So if they're pulling pretty much half a kilowatt each, how much power am I generating? I've started charging up battery a little bit. I'm generating 16.5 and drawing 6. Okay, see that running. Um, she's sorted. So the reason I'm covering this in, ultimately, is so I can go to my control room, even in a storm, and uh, without any too many problems. Obviously I don't want to bring the rocket back during a storm, because that would just be stupid. Um, but uh, at least I can come up here and uh, manage what the rocket is doing. So it's here now, um, location... I need to turn on the scanner, turn off that, and chart, and I need 500, so that's 250, yeah 250 each, for so these to scan the location, so to see that to run for a bit, got to remember not to leave it too long and let my rocket battery run out, because uh, you lose your rocket at that point. I keep seeing that there and I want to run down there, it's here. I might have to put something there. I might have to put a railing there. I don't know if you can build railings in this game. Can you build railings? I don't know. I need to do it before, I don't think. Um, let's have a look. Railing kits. There we go. Let's build some of them. I'm shutting the doors as I go along. Stop all the debris from the storm blowing in like that. Yeah, it's because I'm outside now. This is when I'm going to hit problems trying to run around. Yeah, let's put a walkway, the railing's here, so I'm not tempted to run on my uh, grating. I think I prefer that one actually. Let's uh, take these down and change them. Must be the drill. There we go. 
go. Well, can hear. How's our rocket doing? Up to two forty. That's good timing. It's a shame we only get thirty per scan. There's two hundred fifty Mars. Uh, Lagrange point four. 198 Delta V away. Ah, oh, there's some more. Oh, it's a long way though. That's a long way. Let's finish um, mapping this. I got plenty of battery power. Let's finish mapping this area. Okay, so we're just coming up to chart the whole 500. There we go, and then let's have a look at the map. That one is L5. How far away is that one? 198, so it's 6 and 2 threes. I can go to either one. Let's pick that one. Um, turn you on. Turn the engine on. Oh, it's only 25 seconds away. But I've got to remember all these 25s and 50s and things add up because I need to be able to land. Alright, L4. Thousand, wow. Well, there's only one thing we can do. Let's start scanning. Um, oh, storm just finished. That was good. I need to go and um, get a shower. And clear up my waste tank. Um, how are we doing? Seeds, so... I need to get some harvest set up, I think. So I can uh, save me having to do this by hand. Alright, let's use the seeds to replant. Seven wheat, let's stick it in here. I guess there's two hundred and thirty five grams of flour. As I go in there. Hmm, did I lose that extra flour? Or did it just add up to 300 by chance? I'm not sure. Corn seed. Got plenty of corn in there. Some of it's got to be quite poor condition though. Yeah, that, that's quite bad. Um. I don't know why I ejected that, I should have just left it in there. Oh, 
stupid boy. Make some wheat up. Um, I need some soybeans. Are there any soybeans in here? Grab some more tins because I can uh, I can make a little tin food up, which will last pretty much forever. All right, that'll do. Oh, my dear, that rice is not very good either, is it? Um, can I make cooked rice in here? Yep. Is it going? Rocket, let's go. Oh, close my thing. Close that. I'll just let that run, I'll come back for it later. Um, I'm not doing any harm. Let's go and see how our rocket's doing in uh, scanning that location. Yeah, because it was 500 points we needed to scan. We should be there or thereabouts by now. Oh, it's on both of them. Okay. Uh, how's the rocket doing power-wise? 78. Turn the scanner off. Location. Map. What's that one? Rich asteroid and a oxygenated ice cluster. So that's obviously oxide there. Um, I'm going to take a risk that I can get there. In a few seconds, is thrust. And a scanner on, circuit housing off, discover. Oh, so we've actually got nitrous oxide here. NOS ice, dense oxygen ice, nitrogen ice. Oh, they do come in different names. Okay. I wasn't sure. So it's 300 points per item. There's nine items, is that? Hunger, caution. There we go. That's everything I really do at the minute. That's all growing. I leave the uh, rice there. Uh, don't need to hold that just yet. Let's go back to our rocket. I've still got some rice on me and tinned rice. Oh God, I'm going to run around with that. Never mind. You can stay in my inventory for a few minutes and not harm it. How are you doing? You running well? Good. And it looks like it's reset since last time. Yep. Yeah. 
How are we doing with our rocket? How much power got? 72. We have discovered only one location. Nitrogen ice. I don't need nitrogen ice. I need oxygen ice, really, so I can make more rocket fuel. What did I find that time? NOS, that's nitrogen, nitrogen oxide, not nitrogen ice. Okay, I'm just going to leave that running away for a bit. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, which I've been thinking about, is to increase the range of my rocket. I want to... Crowbar, not that. Tweak the programming on this um, laptop. That's the laptop, there it is. Import, edit. So I'm currently fueling up to 25 megapascals. I'm going to take that up to 50. Export. And take the laptop back. So that, if I turn that on, that will start priming the pipes to 50. Ooh, hit 54, 55. That's okay. Don't mind that. And then I want to put these steel sheets back down. Okay. Don't need you anymore. Um, how are we doing? Location. Still only two so far. Let's just run it up to the third one. Let's just let it, I'm just going to let it run up to the third one, see what we get. Okay, that's three discoveries in this uh, area. We've got nitrice, no size, nitrice. Okay, so we'll just keep getting nitrice. Um, battery power is okay for the moment, I'm just going to leave it running. What I want to do is start pumping some of that volatiles into the big tank from this small tank, and that's my light just cut out. How's our main battery doing? 84, that's fine. Um, turbo pump kit. A uh, copper. Okay, uh, just pump kit. Actually, you know what do we need for that? Gold, copper, steel, we've got electrum. I've got electrum over here. Don't I? No, I don't. There's the Electrum. What else do I need? Copper and gold. Right, turbo pump. Ooh. I have some slate piping. Is that two of them? Thought so. Right, how much more insulated piping do I need? I need to uh, whip the covers up. Right, let's think about this. pump about here Oh, 
One, two, three, so we need about another six or seven um, interstate pipes. This one you get Amy to unload, that's so why I just turn her on and then she have to find new have to find new location for her to go mine. You got any red? Red, your um, orange, because it's still just mixed fuel. Uh, cabling and wire cutters. Set you going. Why aren't you going? There's power there. Because I've connected in the wrong side. That's why. What a stupid boy I am. Well, now very quickly just drain this tank down. Yeah, into this tank. And the way this is set up, I can add a pump, another couple of pumps to the side. One for um, Oxygen and one for nitrice, and maybe it's a um, NOx tank somewhere as well. So I can use this setup to crush all the ice that I bring back from space and then just separate out its various tanks manually for now. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to paint you. You'd never cut that noise down quite a bit. You'd never know I've been here. Yeah, it's all getting pumped out now. Right, time to go and have another quick look at our rocket. Get me worried that the battery might be getting a bit low. Uh, 